Today I will explain about an American supernatural horror film, The Gene. It was released on May 14, 2021. This film is directed by David Charbonnet and Justin Powell. It has an IMDb rating of 4.7 out of 10, which is not bad. So, without further waiting, let's begin. So the scene starts on an unspecified night in 1989, Dylan Jacobs. A mute and asthmatic young boy finds his mother, Michelle, crying in front of a kitchen sink with candle lit nearby. She turns around and the candle is blown out. In the next scene, it is seen that Dylan's family has shifted their house and arranging their things. At night, his father, Michael, narrating story to Dylan. But Dylan couldn't sleep at night, so he found a room from where the whispers were heard. There Dylan found an old book and a dusty mirror. And the book says Book of Shadows. It was wrapped with their own cloth. As he was going to the book, he was interrupted by his father and consoled Dylan about his indifferent nature, which is mute. The scene then shifted in a dining room where Dylan asked about a man who died in a house long ago. Later that night, after his father went for his job at radio station, Dylan took opportunity to open that book and started reading it, where he found with the title, Wish of the Voice. In the book, it is written that at the start of the final hour of the day, place a three drops of blood under the melting wax, face your reflection to the mirror and speak your words. The gene will appear and grant his wish with a warning it may cause his soul. Dylan seems to be excited to try it as he wants to get his voice back. In the final hour of the day, which is midnight, Dylan starts the ritual exactly how the book says. He tried to speak, but he couldn't. He was disappointed and went to sleep. Later at that night, he heard a woman crying nearby his room and he went to check. He saw a woman opening a box. The scene then shifted where Dylan opened his cloth and we see a scar mark on his chest. A little later, a dark smoke started to appear from a room where he found a book. Creepy things started to happen with Dylan in the house, like deviating on by itself. He was so frightened, he took his inhaler. Dylan saw a monstrous figure later, fearing that he went to bathroom and hid himself there. Now, we can see that Jean took a form of a man where he saw in newspaper and started to attack at Dylan. Dylan somehow managed to keep Jean from entering inside the bathroom. In the next scene, we can see the real form of Jean in the mirror. Dylan was attacked again. This time, Dylan somehow escaped and went to his room where he hid under the bed. This time, the jinn took the form of his grandpa and started to attack at Dylan. And in counterattack, Dylan sprayed something in the jinn's eye and escaped. He took the same candle which he used for the ritual and in real, it wasn't blown off. And then he went to hide to the same room where he found the book. There he read about his wish again. He came to know that he needs to extinguish the flame to get his wish come true and to get rid of the jinn. Now the book tells us about the detail about the jinn. And it says, part man and part beast in nature. The jinn is one of the immortal guardians of the shadow realm. Appearing to those who conjure the wish of desire, the jinn will grant one wish to anyone fortunate enough to survive, but will consume the heart of those who fail, damning their soul to the shadow realm to eternity. The jinn can only be vanished after the stroke of midnight by extinguishing the candle. Dylan tried to blow the candle but couldn't as it was not past midnight. Now Dylan heard a crying voice again and he went to check any room from where the voice was coming. He saw a lady facing towards the wall and boom, it was Dylan's mother which jinn took the form. She started to attack him. Dylan ran to his room thinking it would be safe, but surprise, surprise, 
There she was, waiting for him. And as she was about to attack him, Dylan threw one of his toys to distract her, and he left the room, locking her inside. Dylan tried to call his dad, but couldn't reach. At that moment, Dylan's mother, who was Jean, grabbed his knife from the ventilator nearby. Dylan escaped from there and went to the bathroom, where he was tired and took a nap. There he saw a dream of his mother killing herself. This time, Dylan is determined to blow the candle after past midnight. He attacked the gin, but he got caught. As Dylan was strangled, he somehow managed to escape by stabbing the gin with his knife. When it was already midnight, Dylan blew up the candle and everything came to normal. Dylan tried to talk, but his voice didn't come back and was very disappointed. In the next morning, Dylan's father came home and told his father that he loved him so much. Now, as Dylan didn't get his voice back, he somehow managed to be happy. Suddenly, Dylan saw the gene standing right behind his father and grabbed him by his neck and transferred his voice to Dylan. After that, the gene went back to the book. This is exactly what the book said. It may cause a soul. The last scene we can see Dylan crying in regret, which he didn't want to end it like that. And the movie is over. So guys, I hope you like this video. Please do subscribe, like and share. Wait for our next video. Till then, stay happy, stay safe and stay lovely.